Hello YouTube, this is Hi Guy back with another video here. Um I know if you check the time, it's eleven thirteen right now, uh Eastern time. Uh but sorry the I said I was gonna make this video four hours ago. Uh as I said back on back because I up I made the other two videos that I will upload soon. Um after this video is done, I, I will start uploading them. Um, but, uh, I, there are some technical difficulties with making this video, um, and I have to fit this into the time frame. Alright, so, um, I'm going to show you guys how to create a basic game, a uh, text-based game. It's really easy. You, uh, in this video, you're going to run functions. That's not really how you type a function, but functions like that. Um, and, uh, the, how to import libraries in your, uh, in your file where everything is and we're going to import time we're going to create our first function it's going to be uh, DEF means define and this is what you uh, you define your function and this is where you store everything in this function we're going to have multiple functions for this too also in the future I'd like to let you guys know um, this is going to be a new series um, but my this is going to be part of my tutorial also it's going to be part one of my of creating a text based game um but part three to just my python tutorial series all right so what we're going to do we created our function we're going to type in print welcome to, to my quiz and then we're going to print type y slash n yes or no to begin or exit the game. Alright, after we do that, we're going to create a variable called choice. We're going to call it what is your choice. Uh, raw input, don't forget to put that in so you could actually type. Choice, you could draw input what is your choice. And we're going to add an if command if choice is equal to y, uh, colon there, uh, we, if, if choice is equal to y, if you put in y, we want it, our code to reply with game starting. And this is where we put in, uh, our first time, uh, our first function that came from import time, when we imported our time library. Uh, so it says game starting. We're gonna type in time dot sleep three. Uh, so, um, what this does is, um, when this command is playing, when, uh, when our print command is playing, or any other command above, this, uh, we wait, or the person waits three seconds, or, or how, however much time you want to put in, like 50 seconds, three seconds, it waits for three seconds before, uh, your next command plays, which is just really nice. So we're going to add another if command if someone puts in no time dot sleep for wait no after we put in our print print exiting game also there's a e there's a way easier way how to make this if you guys think this is confusing don't worry there's an easier way to do this uh, it uses some of the same commands but it's a lot easier the only thing is your game won't be that great it's easier because it's a lot more simple, but you need to do it this way if you want to add in more. Alright, so we're exiting game, time to sleep. Three seconds. And then we want it to exit. Alright guys, um, and, and if you want to call your command, I mean call your function, uh, so your function can run at that place here. This activates it. See, so type Y or no to, to begin or exit the game, what is my choice? Say if you said no, three seconds pass right here, and it exits. Oops, no, not don't do that. So run module, and if you put Y, it just says game starting, and it just finishes there. And the great thing is that if you do it this way, it doesn't go down to the no place. See, as you say, game starting, it's not connected to this, which is great because if you did it the other way, the easier way, it would run this command. It would run this command because it's right below it. It's the next command after, but it, don't worry. Alright, so we won't erase this because we don't want to run this yet. 
Alright guys, so um, we're going to add our next, our next function, we're going to call it quiz. Also, uh, in part 2, I'm, I'm going to add in a score system, in part 1, is going to be a little longer because I'm going to add all of the basic framework and everything. I'm just going to add uh, almost all of the questions, because the questions do take some time. So we're going to do print. Uh, actually, question one is equal to. We're gonna create another. We're gonna create another variable right here. Put in raw question one equals raw input. So we could actually type in question one equals raw input. What is nine? What is nine times nine? It's just gonna be a simple question. Uh. Alright, so question one equals raw input. What is nine times nine? And then we're gonna add an if statement, like we did before, two equal signs. Because if it's equal to equals if e, if question one is equal to eighty one, we want our code to print out correct. And we're gonna add in two variables right here after I finish our last if statement. If question one oh also for this part, if question one is not equal to eighty one, as you can see we put an exclamation point and an equal sign right next to each other. That's the opposite of two equal signs. If question one is not equal to 81, we want to print out wrong. And that's going to be our second variable. Alright, okay. So we're, we're going to add in the variables here. Oh, right, actually, we could do that. It's a lot easier that way, but I want to show you guys the global function, uh, the global commands. We do global, um, global correct, and then global wrong and and then we can add the uh the variables up here wrong equals wrong answer try again all right so that's our first variable equals that correct equals correct next Next question. Right, so what this does, uh, global, because as you can see, you don't have to do, use a global one, but it makes things a lot easier in the future, because you don't have to, because you don't have to add the variables right here. If I didn't put global, I'd have to add wrong. I have to, I had to have to add the variables down here, because they wouldn't, they wouldn't uh, know these variables because these variables are in a different function. And then we add the global ones down here. Global correct. Global wrong. Alright, so if we do that, that should work. Also, if we press... Alright, so we are going to link this up to this uh, this function. So, um, if you press Y, this is game starting after 3 seconds, you will automatically jump down to your quiz function. Your quiz section. And, um... Right, and we are going to uh, put start over here so it runs this we don't want to put it right here we want to put it right here I'll explain that later All right so let me just make sure did I do everything right because sometimes the thing goes wrong if I don't have raw input but it should work now what is your choice we don't want to press yes as you can see see it jumps all the way down it's working it jumps down to our quiz function and we put 81, it's just correct, next question. Alright, let's, let's, let me show you what happens if we enter, if we enter the wrong, the wrong answer, try again. And if I want to add in this, that works, but um, I want to add in something else. If you get the wrong answer, I want you to go back to start, I mean quiz. I'm going to go back to quiz right here. So that means if you get the wrong answer, you automatically start over the whole entire quiz. Right, okay. Alright, why? Alright, so you put in why, that's a yes. Alright, you do that. Wrong answer, try again. It starts over. To what is 9 times 9. Oh, so what I want to do to make this a little bit more clear, I'm going to do this. What is this? Um, how do I do it? 
one. Okay. Um, test in one. Alright, so that looks better. Now let's run our code. Choice Y. Let's only check how far am I in. That's 10 minutes, so that's good. Alright, so as you can see, first question. We get it wrong. It starts over. First question. That makes it a little bit more clear, so it just doesn't say what is 9 times 9. And I'll show you another way. Um, wait, no, I'm not going to show you the next way. Uh, probably next episode, uh, for like the first 5 minutes, I'm going to show you the easier way to do this. Even though it won't look as good. But yeah, okay. So that works. We're going to add our second question. And we're going to add a question 2 equals raw inputs. And um, we don't need any more functions now. Um, we don't need any functions now until we add the score and everything. Like when you die, or uh, when you lose, it will show you how much you got right and how much you got wrong. Actually, I don't want to do that. I want to do print for this one. Uh, raw input is when we are going to ask the question. So you're going to print that. I'm going to put in fish. Uh, dog, turtle, and bird. And then the question is going to be, what, wait, which animal is a mammal? And obviously, a dog is, is a mammal because it doesn't lay eggs for babies. It does it through the, uh, you know what? And uh, so, uh, if question two is equal, if question two is equal to um, B prints correct. If question two is not equal to B prints wrong. Then if it were print wrong, you're gonna have to start all over. So I'm going to do this. Oops, quiz right there. That's looking good right now. Oh. No, 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 that, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, I forget all the time to add in raw input, but I usually add it in at the end. So why? The answer is cool. 9 times 9 is 81. Crap, next question. As you can see, that's amazing. Which animal is a mammal? Obviously, D. Correct next question. Now let's see what happens if we get the second one wrong. There's a choice. Why? 81. Right. And we'll say if you said A, wrong end strike, and you start all over. That's perfect. Oh, also, I'm going to add in one more command. Uh, you're going to be able to exit whenever you want to just by typing exit. Right, so, um, let's add a variable for that. Exit. I know. Uh, let's do game exit because if you just do exit like this, obviously they will assume it's it, that can't be used as a variable because that's already uh, in like a Python function, so we can't use we can't use that. So game exit equals exit. Actually, um, game exit equals, yeah, exit, um, so if they type in, I'm actually going to try it. I don't think it would work. No, we're going to do leave, if you type in leave. Uh, okay. On my quiz. Welcome to my quiz. Type exit. And 
whatever you want to leave the game. Whenever you want to leave the game, let's do that. Alright, so leave equals... No, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Leave. Alright, that's looking good. Uh, so we have to do this. If you type in leave, do that. Alright, um... So I'm just thinking how we should do this. Um, Alright, leave equals... So if you type in leave, that should work. You go leave. And uh, let's see if that works. I'm probably I don't know if I'm missing something. All right, no, that's not good. Leave equals exit. Leave. Leave equals exit. I don't know if there's a way to actually add in an exit command to be for a global declaration. Oh. And, uh, we'll leave that there. Yes. Alright, that's a problem, guys. I'm going to have to figure that out during, uh, like, off-screen. Uh, let's try this. Well, inputs are wrong, but are you sure you want to leave? That. Alright, that's good. Alright, so uh, I think I know what to do, how to fix this. I'm dead in this command. Leave equals rump. Input, are you sure you want to leave? Actually, no, I don't I don't want that there. Because I think they'll ask me it as soon as it happens. Are you sure you want to leave? Alright, no guys, that's not going to work. Alright, so I'm just going to look up how to fix that. Sorry uh, that I wasted a few minutes on trying to come up with an exit command. Uh, but, I'm pretty, but there should be one. Um, sorry, hold on. Alright guys, um, next episode I'm going to come up with my part 2 on uh, the quiz. And I'm going to uh, add in a score. A score system, like, um, score. Let me just type in the function for now. So I'm going to add a score system. Um, next episode. So, um, don't forget to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.